So hopefully by this time you've gone ahead and picked your envelope size. And you have those ready. You've also decided on a color scheme and downloaded some of the digis you'd like to use also. So let's get started um, cutting and tearing our pages for our journal. Now, like I've said, I am using a two five and a half inch or five inch square envelope. So my pages will be 10 inches or approximately 10 inches by five inches. And I will have some that are shorter, some that are narrower, some that are even a little longer because I like a variety of pages. I don't like them real consistent throughout the journal. So let me show you what I mean. This one's skinny. Um, this one looks like it's uh, bigger, taller than the five inches. Smaller, narrower. You'll see that there's a variety of things going on here. So if that's the look you like, let's get started. I will be using some supplies today that I'll let you know about. Um, I will be using just plain old masking tape, some Fabri-Tac glue, a scissors, and my bone folder, and two rulers that I use quite often, this old quilting ruler, and this one with a jaggedy edge I like. So let's start. Um, now this is a big pile and my Papillon journal has 10 pages which gives us four sides per page so you have 40 different pages to decorate. And it's pretty stuffed so if you don't want her that fat and stuffed you can um, cut down on your pages, the number of pages, or not decorate quite so thick. So I'm not going to do more than, I'm not going to have more than 10 pages. I think I'll stick with the 10 pages and this pile will make way more than 10 pages. So I may make extra and then throw some over to the um, collage pile. We'll just see how it goes. So let's start. Uh, this one I embossed my cabbage paper and I'm going to cut it about five inches and then I'll cut it off here also. But I put the, the um, embossing envelope clear over here because I like this little imperfection there. So let me get rid of these and measure. So five inches is right there. And like I say, it doesn't have to be perfect because we all know we like imperfect, right? <laughs> I do. Oops, there's an imperfect right there. <laughs> okay, this can go over in our collage pile if we want that, so I'll put it over. Now let's cut this on the edge, get rid of that. And I'm just going to go ahead and cut around this and make it kind of a, a fancy little edging. Oh, look at that. Helping me out. Okay, I'm going to put this over in the collaging section. Okay, so here's, here's a page. And we'll end up folding it like this. And if there's any um, delicate areas in the crease, we will come back through and we will add some things to fix those. And this one I think might be an issue. When I go, when I start to bind the journal, some of these things, if they're really easily torn, will fix them so they don't tear. 
So there's one page. <laughs> okay, here's my little piece from the geography book. I'm going to tear this off over here. And I like that. And this one, I think, will be fine the size that I had it. That's like eight and three quarters by five and a half. So let's go ahead and use that one. There's two. This one I tore off camera. I tore it up here, up here, wherever, and I made a page. I wanted this, um, I'm going to get rid of this, put it in the collage. I wanted this part up here because it's kind of raggedy and torn. So I went ahead and folded it so it's like at four and a half and then I folded this over and we'll make a little a little pocket or a little fold out. I haven't decided yet. Ooh, my tea dye. I've got grass on it. <laughs> okay, this one is um, I'm going to fold it and we'll see later if we like that for a page. I think I'm going to have way too many pages. I could actually make two. Let's go ahead and use this one. This one's really printed crooked, so I'm going to tear it. Let's do this first. have to be done. They don't have to be done perfectly. That's what makes kind of our distressed look. So this one will work. That's that's going to be tall. We may want to cut that down later, but it's six inches tall. I'm going to try and make this one hmm, right there, thinner, narrower. Okay, this one is nine inches by six and a half. We're getting quite a few tall ones, but that's okay. This one is rather small, and I do like that little watermark, but I think I'll put him in the collage pile. This one I definitely want to use. It's a page from an old French novel, I believe, and it's, it's going to be, need some reinforcing here. So um, I'm going to use this just like it is. Just love that. And one of my favorites, of course, I'm going to go ahead and cut this at 10. And this one will definitely need reinforcing. <clears throat> this is um, an old, old ledger. And it is, um, it just tears and cuts like butter. It's so wonderful. So definitely going to put something down the crease of that one. And where it's torn up here, it might even need a little washi tape, so we'll play with that in a bit. This is an envelope that I have torn. I'm going to use it as a pocket. So, And as far as 
as far as this plain old tea dyed sheet, I'm going to set that aside for now. I may or may not use that on the back of something. Definitely want the money, and this one I don't want to tear with a uh, jaggedy ruler. I want um, I want a real nice, fine, straight edge. So. We'll go ahead and cut this with the scissors. go ahead and fold this in half and glue it now too. And we won't be doing any distress, distressing until a, another lesson down the road, but at least we'll get it in shape. I'm using a 24 pound paper that I tea dye and it has a pretty good heft to it. It's, it's a, um, gives everything a really nice feel. And when I fold this money, it definitely has um, a feeling of paper, especially after we, I mean of money, especially after we get it um, glued. The glue helps too. So let's put a little of the fabric tack and just glue that together. And it's interesting, when I opened this bottle of Fabri-Tac, I didn't cut the tip off as, as low as I normally do, so I got a much smaller hole, and I like it better. I'm going to remember to do that on the next bottle. What it does is it lets you get clear to the edge without getting a great big glob of glue there. So. That's kind of a little helpful hint that I found by accident. Okay, now we'll want to go through and make sure to cut off any of these little ends, you know, overhangs from the back. And I'm going to barely, barely round the corners. I mean, way less than my corner rounder. Right there, I like that. Okay, so if you have a little bit of overhang here, we can always, um, we can always cover that up with our distressing tools when we get ready to. All right, there's real money. Don't get any ideas. This one I'm gonna use um, pretty much like I did the money. I'm not gonna glue the two sides together though. And I noticed that I have several of these um, several of these little pieces that I, that are, oh, look at that, I like it. I have several of these pieces that are thin this way, and so I may or may not use all those. Obviously, the money is a definite, but this one is a, is a maybe. So, this one will be folded like that. We'll see how this one works. The 
The maps are always fun. I've used these in several journals. They're always nice. They have some color. Now this one has This one has this split down the middle, which will be fine once we get everything together. We might even paste something down the middle to hide that. So don't worry about that yet. Okay, I'm thinking <laughs> I have probably 10 pages now. This is the other long and, and thin one that I was referring to. This is our third one like that. So. I'm thinking this guy might be odd man out. I don't know. But if he is, he's, he's a good collaging piece. I like this one better because it has color and it has the colors I like. So we'll try and keep this one in as a page. And the backs of these are just your plain old tea dyed paper if you've downloaded them and printed them. So those are the pages we'll collage on. This I may just leave like it is, maybe put a little stamp or something on it, um, even a rubber stamp, a postage stamp, stencil on it. But the back will cover with collage. Oops. And just because I fold them this way doesn't mean I'll use them this way. I might use them this way. So when you open the book it's this way or when you open the book it's this way. So that's a decision we'll make down the road also. Didn't know this journaling took so much thinking. <laughs> Lots of decisions. This one is kind of tall to be a page. And I think it would make a cool page. But So I'm going to trim this one down quite a bit here. Yeah, that's about five inches. Let's do this. This one I'm going to use for collaging only, so he's out. And I think the same on this one because I'm getting more than 10. I do love this. I think it might be a really nice page. But it would also work well for collaging, so we'll save it. This one I have in mind as a, as a um, fold-up pocket. Let's see how wide that is. Oh, okay, that's not even quite 10, so the width is good. Let's, let's talk about height. Let's go five and a half on this one. Let's go, let's go five. Ooh, look at that, that was. Um, so, that one really Looks like it's going to tear, but we'll deal with that. 
So at this point then I want to fold this pocket up and then fold some under. So let's tear off another let's tear off another three inches. Wow, this one's really, really crispy. And put that in the collage pile. So I want to make a pocket out of this. I'm going to fold this down a bit to reinforce that. Look at that, that's pretty, that might tear. Put something along there when we get ready. However, it might be wise to do it now. I want to go ahead and glue this down. This might tear at the bottom too, so maybe we ought to use some washi tape or Hmm. Let's use some washi tape on this one. If I can find my washi. Hopefully you downloaded the washi and um, ran it through your Xyron label maker. Or, you know, you can just cut it out and glue it on also, but we might not be using it because I might not find it. <laughs> there it is. Okay, so we're going to need a long piece. I'm going to use this one because it's, it's wider than this one and I'm going to need that, I think. I cut these ends long because it has the the end of the glue here and it's easier to peel up. Okay. So let's put that along this edge and then we're going to fold it over the edge to, to um, make it stronger. So I'm going to line it right up with that music bar. Wow, that took almost the whole thing. it over and it'll strengthen that edge so that it doesn't fall apart over time. I'm gonna, I like the raggedy edges but if they fall apart and come off the journal they're really no good. Okay so that looks pretty. This one's an issue here. Um, I'm thinking maybe putting some tool or even this. Let's do that. Okay, that'll be pretty on each side. Um, this is uh, my hand dyed silk ribbon that I uh, sell in my shop. So I'm going to use this. This is good for all sorts of stuff and it's so pretty. This is the Tiffany Blue.
and I'm going to leave it a little long. I think it would be pretty hanging out the edges of the book. And that'll um, strengthen that end too and make it pretty. So I'm going to go ahead and glue from here down. And this is a torn page, so it'll help with that also. Mmm, that's pretty. So now we'll fold that up. All right, now let's get back to making it into a page. Let's fold it in half. <laughs> and of course, that is going to need some uh, help along here too. But we will we will do that later. Let's go ahead and turn this pocket into turn this sheet into a pocket. We'll go ahead and glue it now. Okay, there's a page. So let's count our pages. That's all the papers I have in my stack. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, and fourteen. <laughs> okay, we need to get rid of four. Now, there's another trick we can use. We can double up a couple. Um, we can glue some to the back of the other pages. like that. And that solves one problem. Hmm. I'm not sure I like that one. This one could really... He's not my favorite. He could go in the um, collage pile. That gets rid of one. Now we have 13. Here are two with just plain old coffee dye papers on the back. Why don't we do that? Let's do that. Let's say I'll put the glue on the smallest one. Before I glue the other side of this, I'm going to go ahead and match up that crease. Make sure that the, the sides up that you want. Okay, 
All right, let's go to this side. And then we'll trim, trim them down so that the one doesn't hang out beyond the other. Even though we could remedy that with some lace or something too. Okay, there's that. So we've got a couple of things hanging over the edge. I'm just going to go ahead and tear those off by hand. As far as the top and bottom, I think I'll just trim them both up with my ruler. a little bit trickier with two sheets of paper. This seems to work. And it doesn't have to be perfect, which this one isn't. So we're just going to go along and trim him. There. Okay, there's a page. All right, so now we have ones we want are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We need two more. <laughs> I could go ahead and use them all, but that poor little papillon would be so stuffed she couldn't close, so that wouldn't be good. I'm going to use this one. That's nine. And this one we'll use to collage, because we can always just put it on the back of her. And I believe I'll use this one and throw this one in the collage pile. Okay, let's count them again just to make sure. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Whoop! Great, we have ten. Now let's go through and see what ones need some help on this on their crease for the spine. This one definitely does. So. I had an idea here. Let's go ahead and use some tool as uh, as kind of a little stability piece back here. Tool um, works really well, by the way. It's real strong. Have you ever tried to tear it? <laughs> I'm going to just cut a piece. This stuff is hard to cut because it likes to f move all over the place. Okay, we're going to put that right there and that should stabilize that little little piece. So I'm going to go ahead and glue that down.
<clears throat> this one's patched up all over the place, but that's okay. Especially when you use some of the colors that you like. Um, it makes it real pretty. There we go. And I always use a baby wipe to just dab that on. And of course you don't want to fold it or set it on anything else until that dries because it'll glue to it. I like that. So that's def that's a definite. This one, he's nice and, and strong in the middle because we glued two together. And we're definitely going to do something here. We'll, we'll, we'll think on that. This, this is perfect. He's good as it, it, as it is. This one, we're, he's, it's stable enough. Stable. This one's stable too. It's old. It might not hurt to put something there. Let's just put, um, let's just put some plain old masking tape on this one. start to bind and you put a needle in it and that wax thread through here it'll start to tear so this just just helps I don't know if we need something in here maybe maybe a little piece of lace Let's do that. Won't hurt to stabilize. And there again, there's uh, the glue can pull through this, so. Don't put it on top of anything quite yet. Okay, this one I think is going to be okay. I really like this one. I love the color of it and, and the blue, but it's kind of a creamy. It's not white. So that's one. This one definitely needs some stabilization. Hmm. We could do washi tape. We could do, um, let's try some of this stuff. You're starting to see why my books always get so thick. <laughs> because I put a lot of stuff in them. Let me use this. find that this glue sticks almost everything I need to do. There are a couple of other glues that I may pull out in our collaging. I, I usually use a glue stick for collaging, so I'll do that. And I have a Tombow, some Tombow glue that I like. I don't know if I'll use it or not in this journal, but it's kind of nice stuff too. Okay, that will definitely give it some stability. And I think I'll go ahead, this one's really delicate, so I'm going to go ahead and put some tape on the back of that too. Oops.
Now, let's go back and, and fold this and make sure we can get a good fold, or go ahead and crease it. Another one down. <laughs> a lot of these are needing some stuff down the middle. This one's real delicate, so we're going to go with this. Um, I want to use some of my... I'm going to use one of the other colors. I'm going to use this dark color. I love it. Definitely something back here to use. I don't want anything real thick. This is nice, but it's thick, but I'm using it anyway. Ooh, I love that. love that. Okay, let's find the crease. Now this is torn here and we can put some washi tape there or we can collage there. I might put just a little piece of uh, washi right there to strengthen that. This problem that I just made, I think we'll fix that in by collaging over it. Okay, so this guy should be just as about as strengthened as he can get. This one's going to need something. And I'm going to use some tool here because I don't want to cover up that embossing much. 
So just a little piece of tool, I think might do the trick. Okay, I think we've got our pages. We'll let those dry. This is our last one, and I think it's strong enough. It was printed on tea dyed paper, so we can collage that, and I think it'll be just fine. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, <laughs> ten, eleven. Are you serious? Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, I can't count. All right, let's just see what they're going to look like together. Look at that. Look at all the different, the varying widths of the paper, and the same with the top. So. Oh, that's going to be fun. Let me find my envelopes. And I will show you what it'll look like. Okay. Now compared to this one, You'll see how much collaging and how much decorating we're going to be doing. <laughs> it's pretty thin. So there you have it. There are the 10 pages that I'm going to be using in my papillon. So next lesson will be collaging. Thanks for tuning in. See you next time.